What's up, Eagles fans? Welcome into the All-22 Review. I'm Fran Duffy, and today we're going to take a look back at Sunday's difficult loss on the road. Eagles fall to 2-5 and five at the hands of the Las Vegas Raiders. Still, some good things to take away from this game. Obviously, uh, a tough loss on both sides of the football, but looking at the Eagles' pass game, I thought they did some good things to attack the Raiders in their cover three zone coverage. Gus Bradley and the Raiders, they run more cover three than anybody. They ran a ton of cover three in this game on Sunday, and the Eagles found different ways to attack it using one concept that's called a three-level stretch concept. It's made of a bunch of different plays, and I thought the Eagles did some good creative things to get to those concepts. Let's take a look at exactly what I mean. One good way to attack cover three is with a three-level stretch concept. Lots of different plays that look like three levels, but you're essentially trying to flood the zone. Eagles here off play action, 13 personnel. They're going to stretch the zone with a deep ball. You've got a flat player underneath, and now you've got Dallas Goddard running the little over and back route into the intermediate area. Watch the way that the Eagles are able to attack that area of the field with all of these different concepts. Once again here, off play action. Boston Scott in the backfield. Jalen Hurts drops back. This time you've got Devontae Smith running into that void intermediate area. This results in a 20-yard gain. If the ball comes out a little bit earlier, uh, that could be a bigger play, but pressure forced Jalen Hurts off his spot. They settle for a 20-yard completion. Great catch there along the sidelines by Devontae Smith. Once again, off play action, you're going to see Jalen Hurts this time roll to his right. You've got that same stretch action. You've got a vertical route, an underneath route. There's the void in the middle of the field. Quez Watkins on the run for over 20 yards. Great ball there from Jalen Hurts. Number of different ways the Eagles got to these three-level stretch concepts. All of them worked to break down cover three. We saw Boston Dallas Goddard, Devontae Smith, and Quez Watkins in different ways to attack the defense. So Dallas Goddard on the receiving end on a number of those three-level stretch concepts. And I thought Dallas Goddard got his first shot uh, to be the tight end one here in this Eagles offense. And thought he did a really good job, especially early on, not just as a pass catcher, but also as a blocker. And I wanted to pick out a couple of plays to show you Dallas Goddard at the point of attack. The Eagles run game really got going early in this one. Goddard, one of the mainstays at the point of attack. Let's take a look at a couple of examples of exactly what I'm talking about. Dallas Goddard, always impressive as a blocker in the run game. And you can see him here working on the backside on a double team with Richard Rodgers against the defensive end, Yannick Ngakwe. Does a great job here of getting some vertical push on Ngakwe. Look at the job from Goddard here as he drives him seven, eight yards into the backfield. Outstanding job from Goddard on that play. Similar kind of look here. Again, both tight ends lined up to the left side. You've got J.J. Arthago white side over there as well. This time you're going to get that same kind of action. You're going to get the same double team from both Goddard and Richard. Rodgers. Goddard does a great job of washing the defensive end down the line of scrimmage, take him where he wants to go, and steer him away from the point of entry for Miles Sanders. Here's another look. This time, lined up in line, hand in the dirt, next to Jordan Mailata, one-on-one. This is going to be a QB lead play where they're going to just depend on Dallas Goddard to pin the edge here, and he does a great job of holding up defensive end Yannick Ngakwe once again. Dallas Goddard gets the job done at the point of attack. So I did a deep dive on Dallas Goddard in our post-snap read, which you can find over at PhiladelphiaEagles.com uh, and the Eagles mobile app, all the Eagles digital channels. Make sure you go check that out, post-snap read. If you want to read about exactly what I saw from Dallas Goddard on Sunday. Now, let's keep this going in the run game because another player that really stood out to me at the point of attack for the Eagles, rookie left guard Landon Dickerson. He is known as a mauler up front in the run game. Does a great job of what is called vertical displacement. Where he is able to push defensive linemen off their spot into the laps of the linebackers. I thought we saw it a number of times in this game against the Raiders. I want to share a couple of examples. One guy who really stood out to me on film was rookie left guard Landon Dickerson, and especially in the run game where he was able to consistently generate movement, whether it was one-on-one -on -one blocks like this one where he's able to move the defensive tackle off his spot, create some room on this downhill run by Miles Sanders, or whether he's getting up to the second level. You see him here give that defensive tackle a bump, give Jason Kelsey the ability to scoop this, and then get up to the second level and block a linebacker. We saw him do a lot of different things for the Eagles in this game. He was used out in the perimeter, up at the second level. You watch him here, once again, working against the nose tackle, get the nose guard down on the ground. That's Jonathan Hankins. That's a tough player to block at the point of attack. I thought Dickerson did a really good job consistently in this game. You see him here working uh, with Jordan Mailata on the backside. It's an RPO, so the ball comes out in a pass play, but really good vertical displacement there from Dickerson and from Jordan Mailata. One more example here where he, this time, Dickerson's going to work with Jason Kelsey. And he, I think with all of these guys, they're doing a much better job of surfacing blocks, working in tandem with each other to create some movement at the point of attack. We saw that time and time again from Dickerson on Sunday. 
So another rookie that really stood out to me on Sunday was Kenny Gainwell, the rookie running back, uh, reaching the end zone uh, once again here in this game against the Raiders. He was very involved, obviously, after the loss uh, of Miles Sanders for this Eagles offense, but both as a runner and as a pass catcher, we saw some good plays here from Gainwell in this matchup, but that touchdown I thought was a really well-designed play. Let's see exactly how he was able to reach pay dirt. All right, let's take a look at the touchdown here from Kenny Gainwell. Eagles in 13 personnel, Kenny Gainwell in the backfield, three tight ends all on the line of scrimmage, and you're going to see that this is four verts. You're releasing everybody up downfield, and that's going to lift the coverage and create room underneath for Kenny Gainwell in the little Texas route. Three Raiders defenders unable to collapse here on Gainwell. He outraces the pursuit and leaps into the end zone for the touchdown. Well-designed play for the Eagles there in the red zone, capitalizing on that opening drive. We saw a bunch of carries here from Miles Sanders. We saw the play action ball in the intermediate area of the field to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles finish this drive with Kenny Gainwell in the red zone for a touchdown. So we showed you some of the highlights from the Eagles offense on Sunday. Obviously, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows, right? There was some inconsistent play, especially on third down. That prevented the Eagles from sustaining offensive success throughout a majority of this football game. And it was much of the same over on the defensive side, where the Las Vegas Raiders were able to move the ball at will. Derek Carr had one of the best performances of a quarterback uh, in recent memory, completing over 90% of his passes despite throwing 30 attempts. I believe only the second quarterback in NFL history to do so. So the Eagles could not get off the field. Uh, where the, the Raiders were able to sustain drives, move the football down the field. But that said, there were some good things to take away from the film. And I thought one guy up front that really stood out to me, had a number of really impressive rushes, was Josh Sweat. And that's the, one of the big things is when you go back, it's not always about sack production. You know, there, a lot of different things can lead to sacks. But I thought we saw some good rushes here from Josh Sweat when he lined up on the outside. Three really good rushes here from Josh Sweat. You can see him here on the left side working against the right tackle, Brandon Parker. Third and six, third and long. Eagles able to get a nice one-on-one -on -one rush here for Josh Sweat. Nice job using the Euro step, swiping the hands, gaining ground, and impacting the throwing arm. He's about a split second away from a sack fumble here. Forces the quick throw. The ball's complete underneath, but good rush there from Josh Sweat. He knows he was a split second away from a sack. A little bit later, third and one. This time he's once again going to pin his ears back. Look at the way he's able to attack the outside half of the offensive tackle. He's just going to go with a long arm bull rush, work his way through the outside half, and impact the throwing arm of Derek Carr and force an incompletion. Great job from Josh Sweat on that one. And then one more play. Again, you're just seeing the different ways that Josh Sweat is able to attack offensive linemen. Third and long, he's going to work upfield. You're going to have the one-on-one -on -one matchup with Brandon Parker once again. This time he goes just straight speed to power, works the inside half this time, and is able to impact the throwing arm of Derek Carr. Josh Sweat showed up in a couple different ways here in this game. It didn't always show up for sacks, but his ability to rush the quarterback still stands out on film. So some really good reps there from Josh Sweat, who lines up up and down the line of scrimmage now in this new defensive front, especially after the loss of Brandon Graham. He's got to wear a number of different hats along the defensive front. He'll line up inside, inside the offensive tackle at times, as well as way outside uh, against the tight end. So we've seen a lot of different things from Josh Sweat. Another player I wanted to make sure we highlight, Avante Maddox, same draft class there as Josh Sweat. And when you look at Avante Maddox, he is starting to stack weeks on top of each other because last week we highlighted him after the loss to Tampa Bay. He had that impressive pass breakup a couple of weeks ago against the Carolina Panthers. Once again, showed up in this game against the Las Vegas Raiders. Let's take a look at a couple of my favorite plays from Maddox in this one. Let's take a look at Avante Maddox here as he's strung together a couple of nice performances week over week here. But watch him on third down as he's able to trigger downhill, make a stop underneath, short of the sticks to force a potential fourth down. Obviously, this play comes back due to penalty on John Simpson. The Eagles accept the penalty. It becomes third and long. But nice job by Avante Maddox there getting the stop short of the sticks. A little bit later in the drive, we're going to see Avante Maddox down in the red zone working against Hunter Renfro. Watch the way that he's able to realize what this play is. This is going to be a little screen to the tight end in the flat. Avante Maddox is able to defeat the block from the wide receiver, get home to the tight end. This results in a tackle for loss. Nice job there by Avante Maddox. And then he's just going to finish the drive off with an interception in the red zone. Watch Avante Maddox. He's got eyes on the quarterback as an underneath zone defender. This is going to be an errant throw. Ball's up in the air. He comes up with the pick. Nice job by Avante Maddox, who was really aggressive on this drive. All three plays came from this opening drive. He gets rewarded here at the end with the interception. But his ability to come downhill, defeat block, his play recognition, his ability to win one-on-one -on -one as a tackler in space. That has shown up over the last couple of weeks, and he's really starting to get more acclimated in this defensive scheme. 
So obviously a lot more to take away from the defensive film. And for more on that, make sure you go check out the Eagle Eye in the Sky podcast. Myself, Greg Cosell, will be breaking it all down uh, wherever you get your podcast. Make sure you tune in to Eagles game plan this week as well. We will start turning the page and getting you ready for next week's game against the Detroit Lions. Until then, we'll see you next time right here on the All-22 Review.